Hey guys, it's D Money Bala. Today I'm going to be reviewing the laptop that I use every day. It's the HP Spectre X360 2019 model. It's got an i7 8565U, 16 gigs of RAM, and 512 gigabytes of storage. This is by far the most premium laptop I've ever owned. It's got an all aluminum chassis. Everything feels really great. Got a lot of key flex. Keyboard feels really nice. It's got a fingerprint reader and the screen is a 4K resolution. So look at that. Looks really nice. It comes with an NVIDIA MX150 graphics card with two gigabytes of VRAM on there. So you're able to, to do video editing for 1080p video projects really easily. And you can do 4K video editing, but it's not optimized for that. And you can get around 40 FPS in GTA 5 playing at the NVIDIA recommended settings, which are mostly high, and it's really nice. Let's talk about ports. There's only one USB-A port right here. There's a micro SD card reader over here. We've got one USB-C port and a Thunderbolt 3 port over here. And over here, we've got an HDMI port and a headphone jack and the charging um, input. Um, it's hard to live with just one USB-A port right now, but the Thunderbolt 3 is a game changer because you can have a dock that splits out into many USB-A ports, or you could even use an external GPU to do more intense workloads that are more graphically demanding, such as video editing or gaming. And it's a really great value proposition to have that port on a laptop such as this. One of my favorite things about this laptop is the 84 watt hour battery. And it's allowed me to get really great battery life on this laptop, unless I'm doing something really intense like gaming or video editing. But for the most part, this battery life is really good and you're gonna get a lot of juice out of this laptop. Moving on to GTA 5, we're going to change the refresh rate over to 60 hertz so we can get 60 frames per second and we're going to leave all of the other graphical settings at the NVIDIA recommended settings.
Moving over to Fortnite, we got some really smooth gameplay with this PC. When I kept checking the Windows uh, Gameplay Manager, it said I was getting around 60 frames per second, and it was just a really fun game to play. The only issue I've had with my laptop is the trackpad can be a little bit wonky sometimes. Like when I'm dragging windows around, occasionally it'll just start moving all by itself and clicking things randomly. Um, the only way, I, it's going to do it right here. I start dragging this window around and then it starts clicking everything and moving around all funky. Uh, I use a mouse so that I don't have to use the trackpad very often. Also it's a touch screen so I can touch stuff. Um, but I just try to avoid using the trackpad to avoid this problem. I don't know if it's my laptop in particular that has a bad trackpad, but from what I've seen in other reviews, the trackpad is a little bit bad on this computer. Here's the Geekbench compute score that I got with OpenCL. It was a little bit faster than with CUDA, and I'm gonna scroll down and show you the bar graphs for those that are interested. Here are the CPU scores for Geekbench's benchmark for this HP Spectre. The only downside to this laptop is the trackpad, but overall, the great battery life and the solid performance that you get out of it really make it very easy to recommend. And I hope you enjoyed this review. If you have, please like and subscribe to my channel. Thank you.